This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. In this particular part, we are going to study about position and displacement vectors. Okay. To describe the position of an object moving in a plane, we need to choose a convenient point, isn't it? Whenever we say an object is moving, then in order to measure or in order to describe the position of that object, we need to choose some uh, reference point we can say. You just uh, see uh, in this particular graph you can let you can take o as the origin okay let p and p dash be the positions of object at the time t and t dash okay p and p dash be the positions of objects at the time t and t dash okay you are getting the point isn't it let o be the origin t and P dash be the positions at time T and T dash. Okay. As you can see in this figure A. Then we join O and P by a straight line. Here you can see we are joining O as well as P by a straight line. Isn't it? Yes. This OP is the position vector of the object at the time T. What is this OP is called? Yes, this OP is nothing but the position vector. Okay, this OP is the position vector at the time T. An arrow is marked at the head of this line. You can see that in this particular figure. Okay. It is represented by the symbol R. That is uh, which means OP is nothing but. R. Okay. This OP is the position vector at a time T. Okay. And point P dash is represented by another position vector, isn't it? P dash is the position at a time T dash. So, again we join this O and P dash, okay? And that OP dash is represented by R dash. And this OP dash is the position vector at the time T dash, okay? The length of the vector R represents the magnitude of the vector and its direction is the direction in which P lies as seen from O. Okay, here this R, what this R represents? Yes, that this R represents the magnitude and the arrow represents the direction in which the point P lies when we see from O. Okay, if the object moves from P to P dash, you just think the object is moving from P to P dash. The vector P P dash is called displacement vector corresponding to the motion from point P to point P dash. Okay, if the object moves from P to P dash, then it is called as what? Yes, it is called as displacement vector corresponding to the motion from point P that is at the time T to point P dash that is at the time T dash. Okay. It is important to note that the displacement vector is a straight line joining initial and final positions and it does not depend on the actual path undertaken by the object between the two positions okay displacement whenever a word displacement comes to your mind you just think that it's just a distance between initial and final 
points okay we, without considering the actual path that is taken for the by the object between the two positions here they are not considering op and op dash here they are considering p and p dash okay initial as well as final positions at the time t and t dash okay for example we can can take this uh, figure b okay we can consider this figure b given initial and final positions as p and q okay p is the initial position of a uh, object and q is the final position for different paths of journey say p a b c q for different paths of journey the first one is say p a b C Q. Okay, then P D Q. And we are also considering P B E F Q. So these are the different paths. that we are considering one is p a b c q okay one more is p d q and one more is p b e f q okay yes all are reaching the point q but yeah all are coming from p and reaching q in three different way isn't it the magnitude of displacement is either less or equal to the path length of an object between two points okay if you if uh, the displacement between these two is pq you can consider this uh, the middle line here this middle line is the displacement and the the length of the displacement it can be a more or less compared to the actual length the actual length for you know is p it can be p a b c q for the first case p d q and uh, p b e f q for the third case isn't it so displacement can be less or equal to the path length of the object between two points okay now you got the difference between distance and displacement again distance is the total path length and here there we should consider the path that is taken by the object whereas in displacement we'll think about the initial and final positions without worrying about the path undertaken by the object god okay fine so now moving to the next concept so now we are uh, moving to the next concept that is equality of vectors so when we say two vectors are equal yes two vectors a and b are said to be equal if and only if they have the same magnitude and same direction so vector a can be equal to vector b only if their magnitude and direction are same if any one is not same then we can say they are equal vectors okay so let us take a simple example for this so here we can see these are the two equal vectors the and this figure it shows the two equal vectors a and b we can easily check the equality by seeing this figure only okay shift b parallel to itself until its tail q coincides with that of a you just coincide these two vectors over one another if they perfectly sync you know if they perfectly match then we can say they are equal vectors isn't it yeah then since their tips s and p 
also coincide the two vectors are said to be equal in general equality is indicated as a is equal to b if two vectors a and b are equal then we will write like a is equal to b which means vector a is equal to vector b isn't it and if i want to say vector a and b are equal then the magnitude as well as direction magnitude and direction must be same isn't it when i say two vectors are equal it means magnitude and direction of those two vectors are also same and then we you just see one more figure that is two vectors a dash and b dash are unequal though they are of same length okay here vector a dash and b dash are having same length okay vector a dash as well as b dash same length okay vector a dash and b dash have the same magnitude but they are not equal because they have different directions even if we shift b dash parallel to itself so that its tail that is q dash coincides with tail o dash of a dash the tip is s dash of b dash does not coincide with the tip p dash of a dash so here the vectors a and b that is uh, in the previous case we took examples of vectors a and b and here vector a is equal to vector b why because the magnitude of vector a is equal to the magnitude of vector b and whenever we shift vector b parallel to itself and it the point s the point okay whenever we shift this like Okay, parallel to itself. This point S it coincides with P, and this point Q it coincides with O. Exactly right. It exactly matches over one another. So then we can say they both are are in same direction and they are having same magnitude and they are equal. whereas in this case you just move or you just shift this uh, vector b dash parallel to itself towards this vector a dash so if we coincide this tail of the vector p dash okay that is q dash with o dash okay we can coincide this uh, q dash with o dash if you move this b dash parallel to itself isn't it so even though if you coincide o dash and q dash the tip of the vectors that is uh, s dash as well as p dash they does not coincide because they are moving in two different directions isn't it s dash is moving in different direction and p dash is moving in some other direction so even though this tail coincides these tips will not coincide so by this we can say that even though vector a dash and vector b, b dash are having same length which means they are having same magnitude they are not having same direction okay
so by this what we can say yes we can say vector a dash is not equal to vector b dash because they both move in different directions